this is a very important step to applying your press on nails so i thought i would just show this part on camera to help someone out i use kiss nail tips for my nails and as you can see they come a little squared a little cubed at the base and when applied to your natural nail bed it does look a little bit funky looks a little bit unnatural so um what i do is i do a few easy steps to make them look a little bit more natural something like this and uh, the first thing you're going to use is a file well the only thing you're going to use is a file <laughs> and you're going to start by filing the sides and you know kind of, kind of filing them in towards each other if that makes any sense you're going to switch around to the other side and do the same thing as well. Okay. Try not to file too much at once because you can go back periodically and do more if you need to. Now you're going to have these little points at the ends of your nail. And all you're going to need to do now is to round it out so that it can fit um, your nail bed. You're just going to round it out so that it can make it nice and round so that it can fit your nail bed as comfortable as possible. If this does not work, continue the process and the steps and until it looks you know good to your liking the polish i'm going to be reviewing today is the bell file gel soak off um gel polish that requires a uv led light on camera it's looking very gray but in person it's like a grayish more of an olive green um and also i'm going to be trying out this super shine rosalind gel you know top coat from aliexpress as well and i'm going to put on the first coat of the gel olive green polish now when i first applied it i realized instantly that it glides on like butter the polishes that i am used to normally when i do more than one stroke of my brush it kind of smudges and messes up the layer that i put on previously but with this i could move this paint around as many times as possible and i did not smudge anything so that was a plus right off the bat i really really enjoyed that aspect of the polish um the polish didn't really go on as sheer as I thought it would have, but um, I'm not really one to like 50 million coats of polish. So I put only one coat just to see if me applying it into the UV lamp made it a little bit darker. Which brings me to the next product that I'm going to be trying out today, which is this very inexpensive UV gel lamp. Um, this cost me every, anywhere between 5 to $7, I believe. This came with these little itty bitty LED lamps, LED lights rather, and these little bitty holes that I guess shoot out cool air for the cool air effect. Only problem that I have with this lamp so far after taking it out of its packaging is that the cord on the left is very, very short and has to be plugged up and able to work. Okay, I thought maybe it was going to take batteries of some sort, but it doesn't. This lamp comes with three settings, a 30 second, 60 second, and a 90 second. Put my nose under the dryer for span of 90 seconds after looking at it it seems as if the gel polish has expanded a little bit and my niece wanted to touch it to see if it was really dry <laughs> but on the side of my nails it seems as if the polish has overlapped onto my skin and since it is dry it's dry y'all I could not wipe it off or peel it off I had to take a nail file and try to get under it to clip it off now to test off the Rosalind top coat this also gave me no problems and no issues when applying it. I did only use one layer because I thought only one layer was necessary. And after applying it, this is the shine that I got. I was very, very, very impressed. I did later decide to jazz up the nails a little bit and add these little um, crystals, diamonds to the cuticle area of my nails. They did look a little bland with this grayish olive green, whatever tone this is supposed to be. Okay, so I want to add a little bit of, you know, sparkle and bedazzle to the look. Every single item used today in this video, I will link down below the description box. And to apply these crystals, I did use this dotting tool that I also got from AliExpress. Um, to make the diamond stick to the tool, I kind of just licked the end of the tool. That's probably nasty, but it's mine, it's my nails. I'm not going to put this on anybody else, I promise. So I just licked the tip of the tool and picked up the diamond, and that pretty much worked very well. This process did take some time. Um, cause I was going to cover the entire cuticle area since some of the polish would not come off where I kind of overlapped the polish onto my skin. I tried to cover it with the rhinestones instead. So I had to use just a little bit more than I would on the rest of my fingers. I did not apply these rhinestones with any glue. I just put it on top of the clear top coat while it was still tacky before I cured it. And this is what it looks like before curing. I put it in the LED light for about I think 60 seconds and this is how it looks when it came out 
it is extremely extremely pretty i love how it looks um and it's dry the diamonds are tacked on so the top coat pretty much acts as a bling gel or a diamond glue so i was very very happy with that i did do the rest of my hands off of camera since the diamond process was very very tedious these are my thumbs like i said before i did have to add a little bit of extra diamonds to my thumbs to kind of disguise the slip up and mishaps that i made and these are the rest of my fingers I am really, really, really happy with how they turned out. I'm loving the LED lamp. I would definitely recommend the LED lamp also along with both polishes. The Bell File Gel Polish was awesome. Um, it worked very well for me. I really, really enjoyed it. And also along with the Rosalind Top Coat, it was amazing. The shine is impeccable. For a dollar and some change, um, yeah, I mean, you can't beat that with a stick. Nothing in today's video was over $10. Now you guys know how I do. I'm going to use my Equate Drenchful Skin Cream on my hands to give myself a little bit of moisture. And also I'm going to add me a little bit of almond oil to serve as a cuticle oil for my cuticles to make it look very salon-ish, if you know what I mean. Just to ensure that we finesse everyone into thinking that this is a full set. And after applying your cuticle oil, you are done. And I am loving. I am in love. I am living. Okay? For how these nails have turned out i've gotten so many compliments everybody thinks that these are salon done nails acrylic or gel nails and no says if you guys did enjoy today's video review for these nail products please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel i'll be so happy you guys will stick around for a while every single product mentioned will be of course in the description box down below with the links also please do not forget to leave your girl a comment down below if you have any further suggestions video suggestions recommendations or questions do not hesitate to leave that down below let me know what you guys want to see next and i love you all so 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 much but until next time your crown may tilt but you never let it fall stay gilded